Hey guys, so just doing an update video on the second gen, or the I call the 95. Um, we got it all running and everything, and I messed up. I video doing the break-in and talking about priming it and all that stuff. I seem to have lost that, or I didn't film it, or what the deal is. But anyways, I done screwed up. But I'm going to talk about some of that stuff. Uh, I'm probably going to do it tonight or tomorrow, so it'll be after this video. I'm um, talking about priming the fuel system from nothing in it um, and then also doing it with, um, you know, doing a fuel filter change. I've had quite a few people ask me about that that have had problems, so I just thought I'd talk about that. Um, I'm just going to give a quick rundown. I haven't got the water meth hooked up yet. I'm waiting on a different block for this right here so that it'll already have holes in it so I can put that in because obviously we put the tin ram back on. Um, I put a valve here for the coolant bypass. Um, because I wanted to be able to shut it on and off because they do leak a little bit while you're driving um, But I'm gonna change this up. I don't like the way it looks, but it was just in a short fashion I had to get something put together um, But the parts that I wanted I couldn't get in town. So we're gonna do something different there uh, The compounds work mint So that's nice uh, We're 62 65 12 or over an s476 87 with a 10 housing on it um, the only other, the only thing that I do have to do um, is I do need to braille the, another bracket. We're going to add a bracket because this setup, uh, you guys probably won't be able to see it in the video, but when the truck's running, this tends to vibrate and I don't like it vibrating the way it is. So we're going to build a bracket that goes from here, well, down here to over to the exhaust manifold and ties into one of the bolts to try to take some of that vibration out of it because the truck has a bit of a vibration it didn't have before and i know this engine didn't have it before i'm going to check out a bunch of other stuff make sure nothing vibrating or moving on something that's not supposed to but i'm 99 sure that's the problem um truck's running good we did have to put a wheel bearing in it should have videoed that too didn't for some reason um but i'm, I'm gonna rip the other side apart because it actually needs a u-joint um so we'd be ripping that apart sooner than later um and i'll video on doing that because there is uh not hard to do but i figured i should probably show doing it we got the coolant um coolant filter is all hooked up i ended up re-plumbing it in um because we were having too much bypass off part of the reason i put this valve that this valve in there right there um, we were having too much bypass off and the truck didn't want to get warm so right now the coolant flow is coming out of the top of the head is coming out of the head coming through the filter and then it's going right down to the bottom rad hose you might not be able to see there, but down right in there, if you, you guys can't see it for the darkness, but down in there, that did help. So we basically got that all fingered out. So that's good. Uh, truck's working good, running on black diesel. Um, I put, I don't know, probably at pretty close to a thousand kilometers on the truck, 600 miles. Uh, no issues, everything's good. Like other than that vibration that I want to fix. So that's good. Um, also, something I need to talk about is braking, engine break-in. Uh, I'm going to do a video on engine break-in um, and doing cam break-in and that type of stuff. I figured I probably should do a video on it. There again, I already talked about it, I thought, in a video, but um, I didn't, apparently. So, Or I did, but I didn't film it, I guess. I don't know what happened, or I deleted the film or the footage or something. I'm not sure. So we're going to get all that in order. i got to give this thing a bath, too. Um, we're going to be doing an oil change. So I'm going to do, some of you guys asked about, I said it's talking about some maintenance stuff there. Um, talking about winter maintenance was the video. Um, if you guys are, I shouldn't say if you're interested, I'm going to do a few videos because I had a few guys ask about it. Um, and obviously I'm doing this to help you guys. So I'm actually going to do a, bit, a video about bleeding brakes, um, bleeding slash flushing the brakes, um, because this actually could stand to be done. So I'm going to do that. It's, I don't know how many years it's been, not that many, maybe three years. Uh, but the fluid is kind of darkish looking, so I'm going to change it. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about doing that, and there is a few tools that you can buy to do it. Um, so I might even actually buy a cheap Amazon one. Uh, my good one that I had actually is broken. I don't want to get into that. But um, I'm going to probably buy a cheap Amazon setup of some sort for doing it um, so that you can see doing it, you know, because... It's really easy to do it if you have somebody to help you. Uh, it does make a mess though. Um, so if you buy the tool, you can do it by yourself and not make a mess. So we're gonna do that because I don't really want brake fluid always all over the place. And that's one of those fluids that I don't really like in brake fluid. So is what it is. 
Um, we're gonna do a brake fluid flush. I'm gonna do a video on oil change. I don't know if any of you guys really want to see it. It's really very simple, but if you've never done one before, or you know, one of those things, I'm just I'm gonna give you the option. You can watch it. If you don't want to watch it, cool, don't watch it. Um, but for you guys that have never done one or learning, or maybe somebody that isn't even never watched my videos wants to learn, I'm gonna do a video. And I have to do an oil change, but we might as well show it. Um, what else are we gonna do? Uh, then probably some just some, some other maintenance stuff. Go through and just check some stuff. Um, maybe do a diff service. I don't know if I did diffs or not. On oh, I definitely I did the the rear, I guess this summer, but I didn't do the front. So probably do a front diff service, but doing the front and rear on these is the same. Um, so we'll probably do that. Um, maybe check in the front end. I don't know. Let me know in the description of a list of stuff that you're interested in seeing. Um, because some of the stuff that I've done so many times, it just is what it is. Um, I'm not going to do a, a rad flush because I literally just flushed everything out. It's got brand new coolant in it. But maybe we'll do a rad, we'll do a coolant, a coolant flush on Jason's truck maybe before we tear it apart. Um, just so you guys can see and then that'll clean that system up for him. But then it'll be a good, a good video for you guys doing the, the, the flush. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else that I can think of. Um, I really can't think of anything else. I don't think. And then one of you guys did ask about a checklist for maintenance stuff. Maybe I will make up a checklist of some sort, um, put on the website if you guys are interested. Um, you know, just one of those little things. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else. So uh, let me know down in the descriptions, or descriptions, comments, sorry. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, if there's anything you want me to do video on maintenance wise type of stuff, stuff that you should do. I am going to do an undercoating video. This thing is kind of past the point of the undercoating really doing a lot of good for it. Um, and that's my own fault. I didn't undercoat it for a couple of years and I screwed up. And I would never plan on keeping the body on this truck as long as I have. But anyways, nonetheless, we'll do an undercoating video because I really should do an undercoat. I should undercoat it so it doesn't get worse than it already is. So we'll do an undercoating video. I'll show you the products that I use, stuff you can use, blah, blah, blah. Um, but anything else, let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, and remember, it's not rocket science.